posted my first video about a year ago with the intent of eventually making YouTube my full-time job. I was inspired by the idea of living an extraordinary life, never again having to worry about money, freed from the traditional 9 to 5, feeling uninspired from my then job, which I feel like a lot of people can relate to. Dreaming big was a way to occupy all the mind space that I had with all the time staying home in the pandemic. And while I do feel that that is still my eventual goal, I realize that within the past year, I may have lost a little bit of the how along the way. Nicole on EQ was created because I wanted to help people gain a better understanding of themselves and others, fostering better, stronger, more meaningful relationships. And while the topics I covered were helpful to people, I almost felt unqualified for the job, a bit of imposter syndrome. And to be completely honest and transparent with you, I hadn't even read an EQ book until last month. And it didn't resonate too much with me, though I felt the concepts taught in the book were very work appropriate, I felt like it very much focused on subduing your emotions for the good of the situation rather than understanding them. I do have a formal education in psychology, the things I talked about were just concepts that I learned myself through reading podcasts and sometimes, though not always successfully, applying to my own life and my own relationships. I am by no means an expert, just a regular human being speaking from my experience and what I know. Then I made the switch to these new types of videos, more vlog type with narration, really focused on recreating a feeling that may be hard to explain or pinpoint, but aiming to share that feeling with others through my videos that I more and more saw as an art rather than a regurgitation of information. Sometimes it can be hard to express how we're truly feeling, and I felt like my newer videos were helping people do just that. I felt like they were leaving more of an impact. On my last video, I got comments saying things like, This hit me hard. I have been having the same feelings. I felt this title so much, and even a couple people reached out to me saying that I was speaking directly into their soul. And you don't know how much that touched me. It was such a powerful, gratifying thing to hear, to know that in creating my videos, I'm helping others feel understood and that they are not alone. And to our core, I think that's really what every human wants, what every human needs, really. All this to say that I feel really good about the direction I'm going with my videos now, and I think that I should change the title of my channel to match it. I'm not sure EQ is really the right fit anymore or really a term that most people readily use. I've been thinking Nicole and her feels? Nicole on feels? <laughs> but that sounds like it could be a type of drug, which in a way I think feelings can sometimes be like a drug. Nicole on emotions maybe? I would love to hear your input, so if you could leave a comment down below on your thoughts, I would very much appreciate it. 
So until next time, I hope you are doing well and staying safe and I'll talk to you soon.